On this episode of SB Mercy, we make our way to Santa Rosalia. Not an easy trip, but very, very much worth it. So come with us to this very charming town in the northern part of Baja, California. Early morning and we are leaving San Juanico. We're gonna go to Bahia, Santo Domingo. It's gonna be a long one. Hopefully we can sail some of it. 46 nautical miles and it's before 7. I'm glad though that the light's coming up. We were going to leave earlier but Matt thankfully changed the belt on the engine just to make it better and it's running well now. So that's good and I think, I think we're all good to go and we're going to go in a little bit. You ready boy? Bahia Santo Domingo. How did you sum up that ride? Bumpy, rocky, and cold. Yeah. We well, tried to sail for a split second, but it just didn't work out. The wind did not cooperate with the direction we were going. Later on, we figured out that we probably could have sailed, but it was right before we turned the corner to come into this bay. A little too late. I need to watch that, but of course our autopilot kept going on and off, on and off. Why, Harriet? Why? Zephyr, how was your trip? Did you see enough birdies to bark at? Hmm? You just ready for some treats? Not even treats. Not even that can get you excited right now. Poor boy. We left Bahia Santo Domingo early in the morning. We actually got to sail on this section of the voyage. Well, at least for most of it. Until we got close to <laughs> Santa Rosalia and that was another story. Harriet, Harriet, both 
these autopilots. They're the same one all day. They keep stalking and we have no idea. Matt's, Matt's opened up both motors. He's opened up and the control panel for both. Check the wires. We switched them out several different times. We even changed the belt and it'll work for a while and then it'll stop and beep. That's what I'm talking about. And our next, yeah, right now it's not even responding when I push it. Our next um, voyage after our long stay in Santa Rosalia is to Isla San Francisco. San... Isla San Francisco. I don't know. Anyways, but it's like 80 miles north and <laughs> I don't want to go if the autopilot doesn't work at all. Um, although, like I said, it works for a little bit and then dies on both of them. So we're not sure and we've tried plugging them into the boat's power and also a battery power. So. We're just at a loss at what's going on. I don't know. If anyone knows anything about Auto Home 2000 autopilots? They're old. They don't make them anymore. But it came with the boat. One came with the boat, and then we thought we better get a backup. So I don't know. We'll see. There it goes again. As we got close to Santa Rosalia, the winds picked up, headed straight into us, and so did the waves. It was a serious struggle to get to the marina, even with the engine fully gunned but eventually we made it safe and sound. Santa Rosalia. It's kind of cool. It's a little industrial. It used to be a copper town. Um, well, it still is. They still, they went back to mining copper here. Ah, we had an interesting ride. <laughs> Got a little windy. Um, but yeah, it's so nice to be out of the wind. It's really sheltered here. It's blowing at least 25 out there and you can't even tell in here and there's no waves in here. It's so nice. I'm so glad we decided to come here. Um, it's gonna get even gnarlier the next two days. I don't know if you can hear the wind howling, but... And then there's storm clouds. Zephyr, are you happy? Are you happy, boy? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mommy's gonna clean up and we go on a walk or something. Oh my gosh, it feels so silly dressed up this much in <laughs> in Santa Rosalia, but it's cold and super windy out. It's so crazy. Had 
don't know if you can hear that, but this is what we're missing out on being in this marina. It's so crazy. Um, yeah, I think it's like 30 knots out there, or that's what they predicted. But, oh no! totally thought these mine shafts, caves, whatever you want to call them, were made for tourists. But no, these are the actual mines. Pretty cool. The copper mines. visited a mine and now we're gonna walk around the town some more after we sit in this French inspired little plaza area. Yeah. Okay. Coffee. Okay. Yeah, where's the coffee? I know. They should set something up here right in the they should definitely yeah. be serving baguettes and beignets. And it looks like they might because they have those yeah, during true. this warmer months when it's not so Maybe. windy. This is so cool. I bet they have events here. Yeah. Alright. Words my way. Yeah. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow and we usually don't even celebrate it. Today. I was working all day in here, <clears throat> working on the video on the blog. As you can see, I have a nasty bruise <laughs> on my head. And I, that's from hitting the knob on the steering wheel for the home. I got down to get something and knock myself on the head. It <clears throat> looks a lot worse than it is. We're just going out today for an hour or so to go fishing and to empty our holding tank and yeah, even though we're leaving in two days. But it'd be nice to catch some fish. Are we going to catch some fish? Yeah, we're going to catch some fish. Are we going to catch some fish? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Going because we have two licenses. Got them all ready. Probably.
when I made the carry water, and it came from an idea that Sarah gave me, one of my friends that I talk to every week. And uh, she says I should just use some sort of carrying device because I've been carrying these like this. And she came up with a lot of different plans. But what I came up with was just to use the docking line, which already has these nice loops in it. I did a girth hitch on this side. And then since this had a loop, I passed it through this loop. And it's tied a hitch right here such that it won't slide down. It's a cool thing about a hitch. Once you slide it up, it will not slide down unless you release it on its own, you know. It's a really cool thing. Adjust it such that you can carry it without minimal pressure. You can carry it without really holding all the weight on your arms. Pretty cool idea. Thanks, Sarah. We are going out to enjoy Santa Rosalia and to look around and to show you what we find. We're in Santa Rosalia Marina, if you could call it a marina. There's only room for about 20 boats here. And I don't think they take anything over 45 unless you're at the end. Yeah, we've been here almost a week. We're gonna leave tomorrow evening to go up to Bahia San Francisco. Hey, what is, so what is this building, do you know? We don't know what this building is, but we're going to explore. Oh, they got flooded, didn't it? Huh. Maybe everything just got wrecked here. It's, and... it's interesting. They have yeah. some sort of like wall over there that lets it air through. It almost seems like it's... Maybe like... it was a hotel? Yeah. Maybe we can look it up. But in a lot of the Mexican towns, they're uh, kind of building things up. Not in a bad way either, just making them um, a little nicer, a little more pleasant, but not building mega structures or anything. Let's hope. <laughs> Almost looks like old bank teller windows. Who knows? Wow. What do you? Oh. The windows over there look like bank teller stuff. Maybe just like snack bar. Yeah. But yeah, Maybe. bank teller like. This is part of the construction too, so these yeah. are always there. Yeah. Is that a big chair? <laughs> no, it's probably not a chair. Uh. Oh, they, there's pulleys up there. Yeah, it looks industrial, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that building. Yeah, that I'd love to see. The, I'd love to know the history of it. You get really close up to it, and then about five feet away, it's like, don't walk any closer. Like, you know, you're not protected. Check it out. There's the jail. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's part of the punishment. And look at what you could be doing. Yeah. But it looks, you know, to have something. If you're looking to get arrested and want to be in a jail, you could be here. Marcel Municipal. It looks like a sunken boat. It looks a lot like a sunken boat. Yeah. The outside wood. Wow. And that was a dock. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see what this is all about. I'm surprised that they <laughs> don't take something like that down. Yeah, they don't take a lot of things down, do they? I mean, this has yeah. been here a while, this, this yeah. fishing boat over yeah. there. Yeah. 
That would be neat to explore. That thing's been there a while. I looked at Google Earth and you can just see it's been there a while. right there yeah. but you can go down on the beach sure. oh and just walk over there and yeah. have the whole thing collapse on you look at the whole thing the, all that sand looks like the um what are the apache uh, tears we have to figure out why that's on the top of everything. obsidian yes hmm. it's a flow it's a sort of yeah. um, i think it's system. So fun to explore that, isn't it? It would. Yeah. Reminder to get a tetanus shot when we get um, back in the state.
So I found this staircase and I like to explore, so I'm starting to walk up the staircase. Cool view. Found this cool little pocket park, I guess you can call it, little benches. Beautiful view. There's the marina. 